What's up my single chats and toxic gamers? Today we got full-blown new FPS games that are coming in 2024 in Unreal Engine 5. The first game is called Postscriptium Revival. This one is coming out early 2025. PC later to consoles. Let's see if these games hold up. Let's see if these games can give Call of Duty Battlefield competition. Uh, this uh, looks like WW2, right? So World War II. Yeah, Thompson. Okay, not bad. Honestly, not bad. I'm getting some Battlefield 1 vibes as well. Battlefield... How many of you guys actually played Battlefield 1? Yo, Battlefield 1 was an amazing game, especially for the time when it came out. 2016, if I'm not mistaken, right? Alongside Infinite Warfare, and Sigus did not like Infinite Warfare, therefore Activision was like, <laughs> let's actually bundle Modern Warfare Remaster up with Infinite Warfare. And this is how they were able to sell it. Join the fight for victory. But right now, in this day and age, World War II shooters just doesn't hit, you feel what I'm saying? So the next up on the list is Delta Force, Hawk Ops. This one is coming early 2024. Okay, I'm not sure about this one. I heard some people are saying it's cancelled, actually. Some are saying Delta Force is cancelled. Is that true? Because if it is, then holy. You know? Yeah, I needed to just bump up the audio. But yeah, I was talking about the Battlefield 1, you know what I'm saying? We were talking about Battlefield 1. So, Battlefield 1, 2016. Simple times, man. Simple times. Uh, I think, and Battlefield 5, yeah, it did not hit people in the G-Spot. It didn't hit the same as Battlefield 1. They went, uh, kind of woke. And then we had Battlefield 2042, which, like as I was saying, it's worse than Battlefield 5, so... Bruh. You just cannot win. And right now, they have keys. The next engine for Battlefield as well. Holy. Not bad. Crazy, man. Yeah, this is similar to Battlefield. I would, if I was looking at this from afar, I would be like, yo, that's Battlefield, bruh. That's Battlefield. Okay, what's the next game? This one is called 300475. Wait, what? Hey, yo, what? Bruh. Is that like actual name of the game? Bruh. Like, like, give it a proper name, dog. But, uh, yeah, how many of you are still playing Battlefield 2042, or you don't care? They have teased the, the, the next DICE engine, and they already have confirmed, like, a year plus ago that they're working on the next Battlefield game. We know that they are working on it, and recently Tom Henderson also been talking about it. I do believe that it's either gonna come out by the end of 2024, or maybe 2025, but 2025 is when we are getting GTA 6, so... Honestly, I, I don't think they would want to release around the same time as GTA 6. Is this like another... I feel like this is like Cold War era, if I'm not mistaken. Has that Black Ops... Yeah, this reminds me of Black Ops 1, though. Wait, what? Hey, yo! RPG? Damn, son. Okay, this looks odd, but this is not my cup of tea, I would say. Damn, they got the big planes as well. Oh my god! They better drop nukes? Holy, okay, it's Joe over, bro. It is Joe over. Damn! <laughs> Yo, holy! Damn, they just went crazy. That's like. This. You know what? This resembles. Them dropping a nuke on Call of Duty. Okay, 83 Revival. 2024 PC. Yeah, I heard about this game a while ago, actually. So it's now finally coming out. <laughs> you have the muscle player, no way! Okay, th 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 yeah, uh, there is no way this one isn't made in Unreal Engine 5. The title says, though. The title says, uh, there is no way this is one. This one is made in Unreal Engine 5. I think some of the games are, but some of, some of them aren't. But this is a, a compilation of all the gameplay and trailers. For the upcoming FPS game, so I like that. I like that. I like that because I feel like the the scene is very much dry for the FPS games. You guys feel the same way or or no? What is that one FPS game you're playing right now? Outside of let's just say Call of Duty, uh, ba and Battlefield and Warzone. Outside of that, what is that one FPS game you're playing? Okay, forget about CS:GO as well. Bruh. Like, let's be real. Okay, so this one is called Direct Contact. Uh, direct contact, right? Yeah, direct contact. 
Okay, this might actually be good. Okay, Chad area 52. Damn! <laughs> okay, grass looking kind of good, boys. But yeah, on a real though, like, I don't know any good FPS game besides the games uh, like Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Call of Duty yeah, doesn't even hit the same no more. Probably Battlefield just... doesn't hit the same no more. Yeah, that. I think we are in a yeah, real drought of actual FPS games. This game, you know what, reminds me of Medal of Honor as well. If you guys, and a little bit of Modern Warfare 3's Dome. How many of you actually played Medal of Honor? I believe Warfighter came out in 2013, but I'm talking about the original Medal of Honor, 2010. I remember those suckers were like, dude, uh, pre-order uh, Medal of Honor and you get Battlefield 3 beta. I still remember that to this day, dog. Those were simple times and I believe some of the best and most exciting times for FPS games as well because we had Call of Duty on its peak, amazing. Bad Company 2 was amazing, uh, and Medal of Honor 2010 was also a phenomenal game. I loved that game a lot, bro. I know life that game. And then it was like, hey, you buy this, you get a bonus uh, uh, Battlefield 3 beta. You know, pre-order Medal of Honor and you get <laughs> Battlefield 3 beta uh, access. Some of the most hyped times ever because Bad Company 2 was amazing and suckers were waiting for it. The gameplays and trailers were also looking good. It's still direct contact. Okay, this game looking kind of high. But the real question is that, would you actually buy it? Because I'm looking at it, looks good, but am I gonna buy it? now? Nah. It looks good, but I'm not sold to that point. And it's only on Steam, that's big, uh, big L. Because consoles were sad. Uh, Covered Ultra. And no offense to my PC Master Race, okay? Because, guys, listen, I love my PC homies. But at the end of the day, you know that. Let's keep a buck 50. It's all about consoles at the end of the day. If your game is not on consoles, it's not going to do crazy good. Unless, I, I mean, there are anomaly, anomalies. Uh, there's that one game that came out. Uh, I don't remember the name quite yet. It, it's $5, and it's doing amazing. I believe it even killed Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, 3, and Warzone numbers all at once. Bruh. On Steam at the very least. You know, absolute wild. Absolute wild. Okay, not bad, not bad. Graphically speaking, not the best, but not the worst either. This is more uh, gameplay heavy and strats heavy. So this is more like, uh, yeah, strategy, right? Like, there's probably gonna be suckers that would love it, and suckers that wouldn't love it. Okay, Medic Pacific War. Of a medic during the Pacific War. My story. Everything started at Pearl Harbor. It all seemed peaceful until. Man, WW2 again. Day for me and everyone in my company, and so did my new life. I saw things that day that would change everything I thought. <laughs> Okay, all of a sudden we got this music. Okay, I was not expecting this background music to hit that hit that that way. I don't know what it is, but World War II games don't hit the same no more because we've gotten so many in the past. Yeah, I was saying next, next. Don't want to sound like a hater, but yeah, I think PUBG players might like it. There, there's definitely gonna be a niche. I think we should get World War II games in the future, like five years from now, that's when they should start. Right now, just they don't hit the same. At least to me, because, you know, we had Call of Duty Van Garbage, Call of Duty World War II, Battlefield 5 is another World War II shooter. Y you know what I mean, right? And we've had so many of them. But I, but I feel like this game is gonna explore like new route the Pacific, which is something that hasn't been explored in other other games, I think. Maybe, maybe it's gonna be good. Maybe it's gonna be good, but it doesn't look like it. And it's, and they got that boring ass music in the background. Like, uh, I know I sound like a hater, but guys, uh, just keeping it real, man. I run. Do you guys want me to lie? Do you want me to lie? I can lie if you want. Guys, it looks amazing. It looks amazing, right? Music is fire. Totally not falling asleep here. Okay, we gotta move on to the next game, though. So next game... Oh, sh okay, the next game is gonna be lit. I've seen a little bit of it. The War is on 1. 
Yeah, totally not gonna be mistaken for the actual Warzone, right? Uh, Call of Duty Warzone, I mean. Warzone! That's, uh, how it is. I think they could've... Yo, what if the game is actually fun, but their showcase is just so bad? With Call of Duty, it's compl it's like the complete opposite, right? Their trailers are so amazing because they understand. This is why they're a multi-billion dollar company. Their packaging is actually amazing, right? Their trailers, everything is just amazing. And they, they bait you to buy the games, you know? Grey's on Warfare 2024. Yeah, this game looks good. This game looks good. But it's also gonna be more like PUBG style, I think. Survival based, I think. I don't think it's battle royale. Battle, maybe, maybe online can be battle royale. This is one of those games that, graphically speaking, is pretty, but gameplay-wise, I'm not sure if it's gonna hit. I do like the guns in it as well. Tell me a name of the game by the end, obviously, that you think you will buy. Because, yeah, we, we can sit here, we can be like, yeah, this game looks good, that game looks bad. But at the end of the day, like, are you really gonna buy the games that you that you say that look good? Because so far, I would buy none of them. I would buy none of them. But Grey's on looking good. So this one is called Last Train Home. Last Train Home, damn. Okay, so... Yeah, sure. <laughs> you what? Bruh. What am Which I looking at? Look? This is Unreal train. Engine! Command, Czechoslovak... So this is Unreal Engine 5! You kidding me right now? Explore war-torn cities and the Siberian countryside. Deploy I actually remember... Train to explore the surrounding area. Man, the CGI, they're using real-life videos, real yeah. Tactical battles. Okay, this game is definitely very niche-heavy. I know there are suckers that, are, that love games like that. Uh, probably guys like Aspen Gold would like Bruh. it. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. But this kind of reminds me of a game that I, I remember playing as a kid. It was like Bus Simulator or something. So the map was the US and you basically are a bus driver and you drive the... Or truck driver, uh, not the bus driver. Uh, truck driver and you're driving trucks around the, uh, around the, the country and it was... It it was low-key kind of fun. I mean, immersion, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't I wouldn't play that now, uh, for sure. But I, I remember, like, when I was new new to the games, uh, I believe it was somewhere around, like, 12, 12 years old. Uh, you know, internet concept was new to me. Computers were new. Concept was new to me. I'm 27 right now. And, and it, gaming did hit different then. I think expectations were low. My first ever PlayStation was PlayStation 2, or gaming console was PlayStation 2. First ever game was ATV Off-Road Fury. Man, that game was so good. I don't think I would ever play that now, but back in the days, dog, like, it, it was crazy good. You know what I mean? This one is called Glory to the Heroes to be announced, PC. Because right now, I, I, I can... I can say, like, all of these games would have hit so good, so different. All the way back then. Hey, not, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Oh my god! Wait, what? Yo! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yo! Okay, upgrades for weapons are available as well. Damn! Okay, we gotta wait for the next one too, bruh. What's the next one? What's the next? What's the next? Black Orchestra? Okay, that one is Unreal Engine 5, it says. Yeah, because I don't think these are Unreal Engine 5. This is like Unreal Engine minus 5, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, this game, not bad. Not bad. Night Vision, it got the Night Vision. But the scene of FPS games are is dry as hell. Dry as hell, dude. And I think it's a little bit of everything, right? We're getting older. Games uh, are feeling the same, same-ish. And it's also burnout as well. We're getting older and we expect more. Uh, and we've seen better games, so this is why. Oh my god! Yo, this look good. This look good. Okay, this doesn't look that good. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, in some scenes it did look good, but right here, I don't know about this. The guy is just simply like, 
like running around. That's it, though. Okay, so this is called Black Orchestra. And this is being made on Unreal Engine 5. This is Unreal Engine 5, bruh. I swear to God. Like I've been saying, guys. <laughs> Me in a real drought, man. Oh my god. Bro, what is happening, man, to the FPS genre? Can we just get one good FPS game, dog? Like, I. And this is gonna sound sad, but. Call of Duty and Battlefield are the two only FPS games that, that hit, bro. Bruh. And right now, both of them are trash. Battlefield 2042 has recovered a lot uh, in comparison to Call of Duty. I know some of you will be like, no, bro, like Battlefield 2042 is wag, bro. This and that, bro. But. But is it me or you guys feel the same way? Like, is it relatable? Like, relatable, yeah or nay? I'd say if you only play on PC, then your opinion probably would be different uh, than mine. And that's fine, though. You can disagree with me. It's fine. It's fine. I, I think, yeah, right? Because PC players are... A, a, they are a bit different, right? They're built differently. They, they have slightly different taste. From the looks of it, and from all the years uh, uh, of me gaming, I, uh, this is what I encountered. But Call of Duty is the only game right now, and I don't like Call of Duty no more, bruh. Like, but I have to say, Call of Duty has been miles better than a lot of the other FPS games, which is just sad. And the bar is so low, bro. The bar is so low, and no one can seem to top it the finals yay the finals the finals, the finals came out recently that looked good whatever happened to x defined is it still coming out i played x defined and it's not my cup of tea bruh i know brian did again but but x defined is, is better than all, uh, all these games that we have seen so far maybe the final game would be better maybe the final game would be better it's coming out though i think the final game would be better has to be i, I guess and don't get me wrong, like, I'm I'm not hating on these games. Stop the cap. But but it's just, don't, they don't look that good. You know, like... Okay, this one... This scene has a vibe, I would say this much. Okay, this scene, this mission right here, or this level, whatever you want to call it, has vibe, has good vibes. I like the vibe of it. I'll say that much. I'm trying to uh, bring out the positives here, but... Damn, I, I like, I wanted this video to be like a positive video, but it turned out to be negative. Uh, like, I went in with good uh, expectations and uh, positive mindset. I was like, okay, this is, because uh, I'm trying to do a series on the channel where we check out like different games all in one video. Yeah, I got gaming news, recovering Call of Duty, GTA 6, all Battlefield, all the big gaming news on the channel, PlayStation, Xbox. And sure, we're going to do that, but I also do want to have like something like this you know i want to have memes compilation something that we can watch and laugh and also like new games that we can all watch and look forward to uh i want to have both of these series memes uh trailers ga new games and then you got news videos that i already said so these three things i want to have all of that on the channel i feel like that it's uh gonna give a little bit of variety but not too much to the point where uh, I don't have because too much of variety doesn't work on YouTube at least on one channel 99% of the time it doesn't work unless you are like a big big streamer like XQC I would say He does silent reacts. Let's be real. I, I'm not a fan of that either, but some people like it I guess people like it people like it Graphically speaking not the best but gameplay wise not bad not bad. So got scar so this is in progress internal testing. What's the name of this game? You call it the final final games, but it's obviously not the finals, the finals, the, the one that just came out on current consoles. Yo, honestly, this one, this one's good. Uh, minus the graphics. Uh, graphics aren't even that bad, but you know, in this day and age, I feel like that your graphics need to be good to be able to attract people to the game. This is how I view it. I feel like graphics don't matter. Graphics do matter. I know I was gonna say don't matter. Yeah. Graphics don't matter if that gameplay is solid. 
but graphic oh it's called red but graphics do matter for games uh for uh, for, to attract people to the games, if that makes sense. But guys, this was the last video we saw. We actually had some really good games and reveals in that. Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. On the left, we got a memes compilation. Check that out, boys.